We don't get up to watch the stars at 6am. Oh, actually, we've been up since 4, so that's a lie. <sighs> Do you hear me? What's that? Oh, bless her. Bless you. Anyway, I hope this didn't wake you up and you've got your phone on silent. Sorry if it did. This is how we roll at 6am, hey? You wanna watch the stars on the ceiling? Who needs sleep anyway, hey? It's been a long night. Good morning, little girl. Say good morning, everyone. I'm a Boochie girl. Boochie Toochie girl. <laughs> You've got that squirrel head. That little squirrel dead. Hello. Hello, Mimi's. Wanna play? She's got all her teddies this morning and all her dies. Yes, you have. And we've also got some pain medicine. Keep your top top. Oh, we'll get that sneeze out first. Oh, is it coming? Nope, it's gone. <laughs> Big girl. That not great, that one. I'm not too sure about that one, Mama. But I'm a big girl like my brother. I'm gonna take it all like a pro. Bloop. <laughs> Good girl. What have you got, big girl? You got your toast? Nom, 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 nom. We got a bit of sea babies going on. Got a bit of toast. <laughs> Is he good? I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> I mean, life's not bad right now, Mila, okay? Life's not bad right now. We've got toast. We've got your favorite cheeky chompers tea there. We've got your dozy dinkums. We've got your new hospital bear for being a brave girl. We've got your squirrel Ted from one of my friends. Your favorite book, your favorite rattle, and tell it tubbies. <laughs> Kind of makes up for zero sleep last night, doesn't it, hey? Mm -mm. Boom. Tell it to be. Tell it to be. <laughs> What's that? The tell it to be. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> you watching Tubbies for the first time? Big hugs. Also, she, she absolutely loves this toy bar. It's like the best thing ever. You love it. You love trying to grab the turtle and the monkey. Oh, my rattle will do. <laughs> oh dear. Lunch just came and I can't stop howling at the <laughs> I can't stop laughing at the mashed potato. <laughs> So that's a mini muffin, one of them teeny tiny ones, and it's bigger than the mash. <laughs> it was so, so This is for me, by the way, not Mila. <laughs> that's hilarious. I can't cope. You want to share Mama's din dins? Hey, I did ask for a bowl of pasta for Mila, and they're going to get that, which is cool. Um, just a small few pieces because she doesn't eat much, obviously, which is good because we only got a teaspoon full of mash, didn't we? <laughs> Full down in one. <laughs> oh dear, not complaining. We're not complaining, we're just having a giggle, aren't we? <laughs> What's wrong? You're trying to find the mash. <laughs> oh, I can't go for myself. <laughs> you're trying to find it, but you can't see it. <laughs> oh, stupid Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sweethearts. Time to come home. 
Oh, let's go get them. Time to take them home. So excited to see them today. It's been such a busy morning that I'm way later arriving here than I thought I was gonna be. But I can't wait to see me memes and take her home. Where's my me memes? Hello, darling. Cheeky, cheeky one. She got the cheeky tum. She's got a smile on her face. Yay. <laughs> You feeling better oh my today? Gosh, she weighs the weight of about a seven year old. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling better today? You look like you're back to your happy self. No, stop looking at me. Look come at give me, me give me cuddles. <laughs> come here, give me cuddles. There she is, all safe and sound home. Oh like thank you. Come on, darling. Hey! It's so good to have you home. Goodbye, turn the lights on. Goodbye. See, I've got superhero powers. <laughs> it looks a bit crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> wow! <laughs> You've been having a little suck of that? Yes, he hasn't. You haven't? Me and his toes alone. <laughs> no, I didn't. You didn't? Me. Let me sit down with this, my Brax Brax. Yeah. Killing. Me, <laughs> me. I'm going to give her a hug. Did you? Oh, did you miss her? Good boy. <laughs> So nice to be home, Mila. Yeah. Right, well, we're over the hurdle, the first hurdle. It's it feels so here. good to be back home. Like, I can't even explain. Are you catching me? Anybody that's going through anything like me? this, the run up is so much worse than anything. Out. Like, once it's done, I don't even know why. I said to Chris on the way back, I was like, don't you feel like a massive weight's been lifted? And, and now, if I said, don't you feel like now we can get on with things, which just sounds ridiculous. I'm like, now we can finish the playroom, and now we can start out the dressing room. Like, we couldn't do those things last week. When yeah, but we, we, we have a hectic week. Remember? It's like, it's kind of like you have this thing waiting on your head all the time. Like, you just know you're, like, you're waiting to do this. And, and everything you do, in the back of your mind, like, yeah, but when we've done this. Careful. Careful, sweet girl. a bit of a sore throat from the um, um, intubation tube. Intubation? Um, yeah, but basically you've got like always at the back of your mind like, oh, we've got that next week. Got that she loves you. I feel so glad that it's done. You. She loves you so much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to eat your nose. Yeah, but I, I'm giving a nose kiss to her. Oh, she thought, mm, I'm going to taste that. Mm, JC's nose tastes yeah. good. It's just good to see her like normal. She's just she's acting normal and she's happy and what, darling? she's chill. Bogies in it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Jace. Bogies in it. Doesn't taste good. There's bogies in it. <laughs> You're right, Jace. Good boy. At least you know, right? Mm, you know. You like what's going on, Mama? Is it harder to hold her? Yeah. Is she You're all gonna have to like get used to holding her properly because you can't pick her up like that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, careful. So Mila, what do you think of our first day back at home? Hmm? How are you feeling? You happy? Honestly, she has been a dream today. Literally a dream. I was so nervous about today. But she's been an absolute dream. She seems to have kind of just accepted that her legs can't move and that she has to lay down now, whereas previously she would never lay down, ever. <coughs> she's definitely getting tired right now because it's almost her bedtime. All right, your princess, she's rubbing her eyes and getting very tired. But she's doing absolutely amazing. We've had a really just a, a very chilled afternoon today. Sarah had a little nap with me there this afternoon on the bed, and which was well deserved after not sleeping last night. And I got some jobs done that needed doing, and, and then it's night time pretty much. We've just had a bit of a little family regrouping tonight. Have some nice dinner together, right? And Mimi has just been using her new bean bag, and she had a bean bag and ate her dinner on, didn't you, sweetie? Yes, you did, and you were such a good girl. That's right, you were pro, man. You handle everything good. You're just a very good girl. 
I still feel like she's really delicate to hold. Like, I'm really terrified of hurting her in this cast. Or I'm also hurting the fix that they've done on her hip. You've got your bulldozer jammers on. Sarah's just getting Jace ready for bed right now. Come on, get back here. After the bath. Good boy. Yeah. And I'm a bit. Oh my goodness, she's like, she weighs like 20,000 ton. Don't you, babe? Hey? You weigh a lot more now. <laughs> Girls? We probably have. We probably have. I, I don't know why I filmed this camera angle. It's so unflattering with my flipping triple chins going on. Girls? All your school books are on the steps. Will you come and get them? I am a little bit nervous about tonight, not gonna lie. I really need her to sleep good tonight for her and for Sarah's sake. So they can both catch up a little bit and obviously I just, I, I need her to sleep anyway. I just, this is the one thing that I'm most worried about. Last night was like a given in the hospital, they were woken up every two minutes, so. You couldn't tell like whether she was gonna sleep, whether she sleeps good in this thing or not last night because she was woken up all the time. But hopefully, hopefully tonight she's gonna sleep good, right baby? Yeah, fingers crossed. It's not gonna be too bad. No, no, it's really bad. Last night. Well, that is really loud. Hello, cheeky girl. Are you happy right now? Did we just have a big sleep? Yes, you did. Lots of you guys have been asking about Mila's, like, how do you change a nappy when a baby's in a spiker cast? And I actually did my own research on this before you got your little cast on. So I thought I'd just quickly show you guys, there's nothing like bad that's going to be seen in this video, obviously. Um, but basically, we have decided to use reusable nappies. We will be going full reusable, but right now I'm only using reusable for the outside. This is like extra protection. I will be going full reusable when I've got used to doing it. I just wanna make sure we know what we're doing. Um, so this is how high up a cast comes. This is the extra protection reusable nappy. This is definitely the thing we found the hardest, right? Yeah, we don't it's have not to easy. Use no, you can just put like a normal one over the top where we've got this one. But I think these just look pretty, and you know, I, I just thought I'd use these ones. But this is definitely nappy changes are definitely something we've struggled with. Not struggled, but it's been tricky. I've definitely struggled with. Yeah, Chris definitely struggled. <laughs> um. So basically, that's all you've got to play with. <laughs> and it's not easy. So you just pull this out, and then you've got to make sure nothing gets on the cast, obviously. And it's basically just a case of putting a nappy on, which is, like, obviously this big. And you ba you take you rip these end bits off, these ones, with a um, sticky bit. They come off. And this bit, you just, you're basically just tucking it up. So you're pushing it in, you're tucking it up. She's very tender here, which is where she had her muscle and tendons cut and the bone, um, a hip bone. <laughs> you loving it, Dada? The hip bone manipulated back into place. So it's really hard to get it up there because it does sometimes hurt. But basically that's what you do. And then your roller kind of, it takes two people, you kind of roller to tuck it up the back because this is exactly the same. <laughs> up the back as well. Oh, boom. <laughs> But she does need changing, so we're gonna give it a go. This is how high up her tummy the cast goes. Um, so it's quite high, there's, there's only like a small, uh, her shoulders there. So it's like a really small gap between. <laughs> She's so sweet. You keep doing that while I change her, because she often doesn't like nappy changes either. Pretty. <laughs> she loves pretty so much. She's just pretty laughing at her. What's Prinny doing? Prinny's desperate to go let, let me lick her. I know. Pr but please. Mila hates it when she licks her. Please, let me lick her. Look at her face. Because <laughs> I can't like looking at this big fluffy cloud. Bum Bum changed. Left this on because there's absolutely nothing on it. Is there? The hardest thing is when she's done a poopy toopy and you can't pull the nappy out because if you pull the nappy out it might go on the cast if it's high up the back yeah. um, but you can't it's hard to wipe it with the nappy still there um, so that's something we're trying to work around at the minute but we coped fine didn't we mama's definitely better than dada dada gets all flustered <laughs> yeah, starts throwing nappies everywhere oh, wipes help, are honey. flying everywhere and he's like babe I can't do this come on I can't I can't <laughs> I'm like you're doing it what are you talking no I can't I've got poo on my finger <laughs> 
<laughs> right, I'm going to get it changed. I'm going to put a vest on because then it might, it can, I might be able to tuck it in a little bit. Um, and we got a baby grow here. This is not a special, um, this is not a spiker cast one, but it's really stretchy. It's not, it's three to six months. Oh, it's six months actually. So I'm going to give that a go, but it's very small for, for six months. This is one that Granny sent her. It's very cute. And then we're going to put a cardigan on. But she's like, no, no, Dada, no, you're letting far. me get too close. Too far, Tony. Don't like her in my just face. just to look at her. I don't want her to lick me. <laughs> and some socks. Let's, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. I can't believe that fits. This is not a special spiker cast one. But these, we got these as a pack of three. Granny sent them as a pack of three. And they fit so well because of how stretchy they are. That's so cool! I bet these fit when she gets the cast off as well. Yeah, they're good. Because they're really big and baggy. Yay! So that's another free sleep since we don't have to worry about. She loves bashing stuff on a cast. Yes, yeah, she does. She likes it in bangs. <laughs> Look how cute that is as well. Really, really sweet. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to put some socks on to keep her toes warm. And we're good. Little cardigan. Oh, someone's shouting out the window. <laughs> All done and ready. <laughs> oh, I'm so relieved that they fit. Because now she gets to wear pretty pink clothes. Also, I'm so happy with this chair. If you put a little a blanket rolled up under her butt, obviously I can never leave her on her own because she's not strapped in. But if I'm sat here in front of her, or one of us is, then she fits in this chair. And she's happy in it and comfortable and she likes the monkeys. We can also add, add a few of her own toys onto this. We've been told that there's no do's and don'ts with her in the cast. You can carry her on your hip, on your front. You can carry her however you want. You don't have to be overly cautious. The only thing you've got to watch is that she's not putting a lot of pressure, nothing's, there's not a lot of pressure under her feet. So as long as she's not like got all of her weight on, on like under here and putting pressure on like her ankles or her knees, then she can sit and lay absolutely any way she wants and seems comfortable in. So we found another one right now. We're just finding out what works for us, aren't we? And you're taking it all in your stride like a big, big pro. Yes, you are. Actually, she might look a bit comfortable there. With a blanket behind her back as well. More comfortable. But we'll see. You're such a big girl. <laughs> Do you like the elephant's tail? Is that so cool? <laughs> Just very quickly, here's another comfortable position we've found. If you like, we've put a pillow underneath just for extra comfort so it's not like on the hard floor. This mat here doesn't offer much padding. And then a rolled up blanket under her legs to support her and she's loving it. We can also hang some different toys in this toy bar. She loves the toy bar, doesn't she? Yes, she does. <gasps> what you got? Mimi's, where's the monkey? <clears throat> oh, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh yes. The lady's having a nap and we are watching the van vlogs. It's, it doesn't even, I feel like we've only just got back. Look how nice your hair is there. You need to get a haircut mate and be looking like that. It doesn't even feel like it was that long ago that we were on this trip that it's like forever ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love looking back on these. I like to see that. I remember getting that one as well. Yeah, it does. Thank you. 